I've been testing out this budget solar controller for the guys down at Vic Off-Road for a few weeks now, and I've got to tell you, I'm pretty impressed. So this is the Atom Power 20 amp MPPT solar charge controller from the guys down at Vic Off-Road. Now Vic Off-Road asked me to do a little bit of testing and a review on this product and I was a little bit hesitant to be quite honest with you. An MPPT lithium compatible solar charge controller for under 100 bucks, I thought might not be the way to go. But I've been pleasantly surprised and I want to give you guys a little bit of a look at the features this thing has included in it. So first thing I want to talk about is the build quality. And now unlike the cheap plastic models thrown in with most solar panel kits, this unit does feel nice and solid with an aluminium chassis and a nice tough ABS plastic housing. The input and output terminals are also really well labelled and clear and easy to access and the LED display lights are clear and easy to read and understand. Now in terms of the features, the controller has all the essentials that you need in a small scale solar regulator. It can handle up to 50 volts DC of solar input, so it's got a really good range and will output up to either 20 amps at 12 volt or 10 amps at 24 volts. That's more than enough power for most vehicle based solar setups running with up to a couple of solar panels. Now it's also got a selectable chemistry, which means you can easily switch between your lead acid AGM gel, calcium, or LiFePo4 lithium batteries. Now, one thing that really sets this thing apart is the built-in USB ports. Not only does it have the usual little USB-A, but it's also got a USB-C quick charge point. These are super handy because one, it just adds a couple more USB points to your, to your setup, and who doesn't want any more USB points? The controller also has a pretty well-designed heat sink to dissipate all that heat and keep the unit running as efficiently and as effectively as possible, keeping your batteries topped up and making sure that the unit doesn't overheat or have extra heat losses that some units might. The unit also has the ability to restart lithium batteries that have gone dead and entered save mode and then start charging straight away. So overall guys, I am actually pretty happy with this cheap little unit. It's tough, easy to use, and it's packed full of features for a budget setup that you might be after. So if you're on a budget guys, but you still want a good quality solar charge controller, I would definitely recommend checking this one out.